see. Okay, I'm going to start with this one that has four likes that pushed to the top just to start and then we'll start flowing. And if I speak really quickly, that happens when I channel. So, um, so the first question is, how can you heal past karma and trauma? So those are two different things, right? And um, I'm wondering if it, oh, it doesn't let me put the question on the screen. Okay, so uh, let's just start with trauma. Actually, I spoke about this today in a reading, or maybe it was just, I was on a few phone calls today, so it might've been the reading or the conversation, but, when we talk about trauma and karma, um, it's a source of where this disruption was created that then can create a programming or a ripple effect forward in time. It can also go backwards in a parallel lifetimes, but we'll just keep it really simple, right? So to heal, we would go back to the source cause, and that is accessed in your own, um, your own meditations and in hypnotherapy. And I was about to say in your own hypnosis because you can do self-hypnosis. So meditation, hypnotherapy takes you to the same brainwave states and you can relax and go back. Um, the monkey mind, the chattering, the talking goes away. And when you align yourself with intention, setting the space, setting your intention, inviting in protection or guides to help, you know, assist you just so you feel comfortable as you're first accessing these memories, um, you'll start to see, feel, hear, sense with any of your clear senses, the source moment. Like, when did this start? And then you can start to ask, okay, well, was it mine to begin with? Like, is this karma something I brought over from another life? Or am I here to help heal and clear the karma for my family, for my community, for my country, for my religion? You know, and then also the trauma. Where did that source? Was it something you experienced in this life? or a past life, or is it stored in your DNA? Um, also, if you're empathic, you wanna definitely know, is this something that I am to be working with? Like, did I sign up for this? Is this something that's a part of my family lineage or my own soul frequency versus am I picking up on the energy of a friend or a neighbor or the collective? Because whatever the answer is, it really helps to know and it helps you to find healing around it so that you can come back um, or approach it in a unique, different kind of a way. So if it doesn't belong to you, it's really easy. You clear it, <laughs> you ask to clear it out of your field. And if it does belong to you, then you can go into meditation and bring a lot of light in and let it clear out. So one aspect of hypnotherapy, especially past life regressions, which I offer, um, is kind of amazing, but once you see where a disruption or a trauma, a fear, a phobia occurred, then the conscious mind and the subconscious mind get on the same page. And it's so nice because then you can feel supported, like, oh my goodness, that makes so much sense. I've had this fear my whole life, or I've had this body ache my whole life, whatever it might be. And there's also this understanding, almost this like, I call it a magical agreement that just happens where your now present body, mind, and spirit can say, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> that really isn't a part of this life path. That's not really a part of this life mission, this life. I can let that go. I can heal it. And as it heals and clears, you might feel emotions come up. So you breathe through it. You just let them out. Emotions are our friend. They're nice. They give us information and messages. Um, so we work with that and you let them flow out or you can say, okay, I need to bring some light in and maybe reprogram, repattern and clear the, whatever it is like, if it's a thought that can be kind of easy to clear thought forms. Um, if it's a fear and emotional, you might have to like work on it a little bit more. But typically, the healing starts right in that moment, and then it can take about 21 days, just on average, for the integration, for you to fully find that, oh wow, I'm feeling really good. Like you look at yourself in the 21st day and you look back to where you were, and you can really see that progress. So accessing information and finding the source cause of where trauma or karma started is the key point. And your intention plays such a huge role. Like if you go into meditation and 
opens the space for it. So if you're new to it and your clear senses aren't quite like super strong yet, that's okay, it starts. It will start in spirit and you might find the messages come through in dream state or throughout the week. Like you might find that conversations bring up these important aspects or elements of information for you. And then of course we have other signs like you open a book and there's a message or a song comes on the radio, you know, all the synchronistic signs. So that's um, the aspect of karma and trauma. And I feel like I've spoken quite a bit. I see a lot of comments here. So thank you everybody. And I hope that that answered the question and provided a little bit of insights. So yeah.